Okay, so got the door open. It's got a little hook attachment that holds it open, which is kind of nice. Uh, it does have the screen, so you can close the screen if you want to just get a little fresh air and uh, I guess keep the bugs out. Uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, we got a little uh, doormat. Uh, it does have a step, which I. Actually, not using at the moment, but that's how I'll just pull it out and then go in. And I've got the vent going, so uh, this is the interior uh, microwave, which was uh, an option which we wanted. Uh, two burner stove, yeah, I think you had a choice between maybe a two and a three, I don't remember. Uh, the sink, uh, like I said, we did had to get the entertainment package, which is the TV. Uh, we didn't use the bench seating. Uh, I got a memory foam mattress. I think it was a double. And uh, so we, we always had a bed here. But if I was going to do it over again, I think I would get like an air mattress and, and leave it like this. And, and at night, when you get ready to sleep, you can put it down. And it didn't take very long. But I think I'd rather, I think I'd do that rather than, uh, than like a memory foam. And, and you're stuck with it. I mean, you can't do anything with the foam mattress. Uh, we have slept on these cushions. They are not comfortable. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, let me see. Uh, it does have the, the single setting and storage underneath. Uh, and this is nice. We just use this, you know, for eating. We did make a trip, uh, gosh, I can't remember how, from Arkansas to uh, the Grand Canyon. Myself and my girlfriend and my girlfriend's 12-year-old grandson. And it was a week-long trip, and uh, the, her grandson is an awesome kid. Uh, but there was three of us in here for the entire week, and uh, it was cozy. But you know, we did it. Um, biggest challenge was, you know, trying to get clothing, and you know, we've only got so much space to store clothing. So uh, you know, I don't know if there's anything else in here. Bathroom, basically, and then. Your closet, you got a hanging rod, and then your tools down there. What the, this is the uh, center rod for the awning, and then the uh, thing that allow, allows you to pull the awning out uh, for your tires, and then uh, for the the jacks to, to help stabilize. That's the key word right there. Stabilize your stabilizers outside to keep the camper stable while you're camping. Uh, the refrigerator. Is yeah, it works great. Actually, works on both electric and gas, and that's pretty cool because uh, uh, you can do either one. And you know, we filled the gas. It was two gas tanks. I think they're like 20 gallon gas tanks. We filled them when we first got it. I I've yet to fill them, uh, so it doesn't use a whole lot of gas. Um, well, we haven't used a lot of gas, but I had uh, fired the refrigerator up with uh, the gas option. And uh, yeah, it works great. Uh, I think that's it. Air conditioner. You know, we do have the furnace. The furnace is awesome. I've only used it like one time, and that was the first weekend that we got the camper. We went down to Texas and picked it up, and for some reason, it got down into the 20s in Texas. And so it was in a January. So we used it the first night. The second night, uh, you know, reading the manual, it says the air conditioner can also heat the casita. And I said, okay, let's try that. And uh, it was amazing. It was 20 degrees, and this thing heated uh, the entire evening. Uh, it was awesome. It worked great. So you almost don't need that, but it's a nice option to have, and you got it. Because this thing will keep, I mean, it was 20, 27 degrees, and this thing kept us warm. So that's uh, our casita. Any questions, just let me know.